What is biohacking? Do I really need to spend thousands of dollars on supplements and vitamins just to improve my health? Can I make this easy somehow? Well, stick around. I've got five free biohacking tips and tricks. I threw in a couple of bonus ones at the end. Welcome back everybody to The Art of Doing, where we seek to inspire you to practice doing new and different things, discover new passions, and explore new curiosities. If this is your first time to the channel, I'd love for you to consider subscribing and stick around to see what type of new things we get into next. Today we're going to be talking five free biohacks. Now a lot of people ask, what is biohacks? What is biohacking? Well, it's experimenting and improving your own body um, with the goal of maximizing your capabilities, your uh, health, your lifespan, um, your, your performance. Um, it can be used in a lot of different ways. It's very much a catch-all term, and it's, a, it's not a science, but it's a new field that um, has caught, caught on quite a bit in the last several years. This could be used by people that are in poor health to optimize their health, get around um, allergies or chronic sickness that they might have, or just to improve your overall mental capabilities, your, your lifespan. Um, it could be something as simple as changing your diet or something as complicated as spending a ton of money on supplements and packages and shakes, um, uh, high cost gadgets and gear. But like I said, we're going to be focusing on five of my favorite biohacks that I practice. And not only do I think they are some of the best biohacks out there, but these are free biohacks. So you really can't go wrong. Now, the number one free body hack that I have to maximize your health increase your longevity and improve your performance is to drink a gallon of water a day. This is a free biohack, unless water's costing you a lot. Um, you can drink it right out of the tap. Anybody that knows me knows that I've been drinking a gallon of water a day religiously for years and years and years. Um, the body is made up of about 60% water. Your muscles and some of your organs are upwards of about 80% water. So that 60% is including your hair and your bones. So obviously water is going to be incredibly important to your overall health, but there are some additional benefits that may not be known to you. Um, Amer we as Americans are chronically underhydrated. We don't drink enough water. We drink too much caffeine, uh, which is a, uh, a diuretic helps you lose water and a lot of people don't drink until they're feeling thirsty but biologically if you're feeling that thirst you're already underhydrated and you should have been drinking more already there are a bunch of benefits to proper hydration that we know about uh, you know we talked about the muscles being full of water so obviously your athletic performance but um, being properly hydrated helps your sleep and sleep quality it also increases your brain functionality and your organ functions. A lot of, obviously your brain is very high in water. A lot of your organs need water to move things around. Uh, and, and sorry for digressing here. I'm not going to get into deep into all of these benefits and um, the scientific reasoning behind them. Again, on this channel, I'm trying to inspire you to check some things out. I'm going to give you some things and hopefully some of it sticks and you want to look more into it and are curious about some of it. Water also helps with weight loss. It increases your metabolism and being dehydrated actually causes food and sugar cravings. Um, number two on my list of free biohacks, this is another one that we all know about but maybe don't appreciate enough, is sleep. Again, we are chronically... Um, underslept. We, most of us do not get enough sleep and we've all heard the doctors talking about uh, eight hours a day, seven hours, seven to nine hours a day. And it is different for every, every person and some people can get away with less sleep, but we're talking about optimizing sleep. 
Um, one of the ways to optimize your sleep is to get to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time or roughly the same time every day. This is really important to set your clock um, that deals with changes in blood pressure and um, metabolism throughout the day. And by continuing to do this at a set time, you will improve sleep. Good quality sleep also boosts your immune system. It fights food cravings. And the lack of sleep is a contributor to high blood pressure, strokes, heart attacks, um, basically a bunch of longevity um, issues will come upon you by not getting the, the right amount of sleep for your body. Free biohack number three is socialization. Now socialization can be meeting up in person, could be talking on the phone. It's basi basically having relationships, be they love interests, friends, acquaintances, um, this is not the casual uh, saying hi to Bob at work, but this is actual relationships that are meaningful to you that are continued. And studies show that um, quality socialization will decrease incidence of depression and dementia in the long term. It will also, also increase your immunity and your health in general. And studies show that this increases your lifespan. It's especially true with a longtime partner. Um, studies are showing drastic improvements in um, life expectancy there. But in general, people that have um, a community around them have a longer lifespan. Now, free hack number four is meditation. And I'll throw a link up above and down in the... Um, in the description. Um, I did a great video, short video on meditation a little bit earlier and you can check that one out. Meditation has many benefits but again it is free and you'll start to see some of these same if you're not catching on some of the same benefits happening over and over and over again and these are great quality benefits for your life and again free you just can't beat it. Meditation has shown to decrease stress, anxiety, depression. Meditation has also been shown to increase your patience, your self-tolerance, your concentration, your attention span, and many other day-to-day -day brain function activities that we would all like to improve. In addition, meditation has been shown to decrease the volume of our brain as we age. Aging is going to catch up with all of us and meditation is another way to prolong not just your lifespan but your quality of life. Free biohack number five is getting about 15 minutes worth of sunlight in the morning. We're not talking going out and sun tanning, but just getting out as early as you can during the sunrise, letting some light get in your eyes, not looking directly into the sun, but getting out in that sunshine. 15 minutes a day will give you your whole recommended amount of vitamin D for the day, which is necessary for health and life and strong bones, among other things. Getting some sunlight in the morning really helps regulate your wake and sleep hormones, which goes back to our um, one of our other hacks. I think number two is uh, sleep, so helping to get you to go to bed and wake up at the right time and also having the hormones that wake you up and give you that energy and also tell you when it's time to be, to be sleepy. Um, getting that sunlight, believe it or not, boosts your immune system. It helps to relieve stress. It increases um, the good feelings and mood feelings that you have and um, helps fight depression. It also boosts your life expectancy. Again, a lot of these things are over and over again, but these are all the things that we all could, could use in great amounts in our life, and what better way to do it than free. I've got two bonus biohacks that, again, are free. Before we get into those, if you're getting anything out of this, if this is intriguing you at all or piquing your curiosity, give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, share this with somebody that you think 
may be interested or could benefit from this. Um, so I've got two more free biohacks. One is a gratitude practice. Um, this could be a, lo a lot of people are talking about a gratitude journal. I just do a gratitude practice. Um, but check that one out. That's got some great benefits. And another one that's becoming more and more in vogue is earthing or grounding. And uh, those are just some teasers. You can uh, look into those as well. I think any of these five, now seven biohacks are worthy of their own video in their own right. There's so much more to delve into and I kind of rush through everything just so I could get you something to look at, be intrigued by and look into and hopefully adopt. Um, leave me a comment down below. Are there any of these topics that you'd like me to get into further? Are there any of them that you're already practicing or that you are inspired to go out and practice? I'd love to see you leave me a comment down below. Thanks for staying with me. Let's always remember to practice compassion. Let's practice kindness and humility. And thank you for spending some time with me to help me practice the art of doing. Click the subscribe up there. Some good videos to watch over here. Thanks everybody.